2014. Welcome to our special coverage of tonight's primary election. For the first printout around 6.36, 6.45 or so, 100% absentee will come in along with 75% of the mail-in uh, votes. Feeling here at the Abercrombie camp is one of quiet optimism. The candidate is supposed to make an appearance, we're told, uh, sometime after he sees a real trend shaping up with the results. This has been a very contested uh, race between the two, at times contentious and at times bitter. Well, we are here at Hanabusa headquarters over in Palama. Now, this race has uh, divided Democrats. Just to my right is Dylan Onaka. He is uh, former executive director of the Hawaii Republican Party. And of course, you all recognize former U.S. Congressman Ed Case. I'd rather see Abercrombie win because I think he would be easier to beat in a general election. I think that Duke Iona and Mufi Hanneman are praying that Abercrombie wins. I think they'd much rather face Abercrombie. David Ige, 67. Neil Abercrombie, 32 percent. There doesn't seem to be any plausible reason that we can think of that would make the next printout so different. I think the the direction he decided to go in, and the policies he, he developed, uh, he lost his base. You know, this is the first Democratic incumbent governor that did not win re-election. So I think it goes without saying, in fact, we would joke around and would say to the EG supporters, I'm your insurance policy. We're very excited about the general election. Uh, we're looking forward to, uh, uh, I, I guess you could say, a spirited race. It's about trust, respect, and balance. It, it really comes down to that. Once we're done, that we need to come together and, and unify as a party because really this is just the beginning of it. You know, once the primary elections are done, I think that's when we're really going to have to start moving forward and preparing for the general election. 50% going to Colleen Hanabusa, 48% for Brian Schatz. I thought Schatz would be a little bit ahead and Anabus a little bit behind. Um, so it's interesting to see how that's playing out. I'm going to pray, but I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. But I have a very strong feeling that we're going to come out okay in this race. It's terrific. And of course, we pray and hope that it'll hold as we go along. It should certainly be a close race after the first two printouts. That's what it seems to indicate. Congressional District 1 in the lead if after this first printout, Mark Takai. We're here in the Mark Takai headquarters. We understand the candidate was campaigning up until 5.59 today. The night is still young. But we are extremely pleased and very excited. He did see that first printout earlier. You know, it was a little louder chanting, but there's still uh, hopes are high right here at Donald Mercado Kim's headquarters. You know, we'll look forward to the next printout. And I'm not a quitter. I'm a fighter. And, uh, you know, we had uh, six formidable opponents there. They all did a good job at campaigning. Just wanted to give you guys an update. We are on track for that uh, third report coming up at uh, 9 o'clock in just a few minutes here. But what we can expect is going to be uh, 80,000 more votes. We have the numbers, and this is very interesting. In the race with Hanabusa and Schatz, dead even. We knew it was going to be tight, but my goodness, we are going to be here a long time tonight. Thank you. Leadership is really walking the talk, uh, and it's really more important what you do than what you say. Uh, and I've lived that for all of my years at the state capitol. Faith and trust has been placed in me. And I've tried to honor that faith and trust to the very best of my ability. Whatever shortcomings I have, whatever faults that I have, I can guarantee you one of them has never been a failure to give all I can every day that I can for Hawaii. I just want to thank Governor Abercrombie for more than 40 years of public service. He really uh, has served the community of Hawaii well. Oni pa'a, steadfast. And that's what the Democratic Party is all about. We're Oni pa'a, we're steadfast, we're for David Ige for governor. Thank you all. Thank you all. Let's go on for victory on November 4th. Senator Brian Schatz has taken the lead in this next printout. We have 100 and 101,481, 99,602 for Colleen Hanabusa. A difference of about 1,870 votes. This isn't about who's for me. This is about who I'm for. And this is about the people of the state of Hawaii. This is about making the change that we need to make. We've got three precincts still out. Two of them are, of course, in Puna, and we all know that 
We won't know what happens there until after this election, after tonight. Matter of fact, we don't even know if they have ballots yet. Our hearts and our thoughts are with the people of the Big Island, and in particular, Puno Pahoa, the people who are still in recovery. Statistical dead heat, so that the process starts tomorrow, not just the campaign process about what these two people are going to do, but probably some kind of recall process. This election is not over. It is far from over. It is far from over.